Hi, another video from Fast Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix uh, the error code E01, E102, E103, E104, E105, and E106. Most commonly this issue is caused in the Xbox One and also Xbox One S uh, due to uh, a software issue. Uh, but in most other cases, in most cases, um, the hard drive is also broken. Um, and this is an example of where um, it's a combination of software and hardware. So the software uh, needs to be reinstalled and also there's a ticking noise coming from the hard drive. Um, and most commonly when the hard drive fails on these, you, you can hear uh, a grinding or a ticking noise. And that's exactly what this console is doing. I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to diagnose that in a second. Uh, and so we're going to be replacing the hard drive and also reinstalling the software. I'm going to be showing you guys how to open the console, replace the hard drive inside. I'm going to be putting a link in the description for the hard drive. We sell them on our website. Uh, and also I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to install the software on the console. You're going to need a USB stick that's formatted to NTFS. And you're going to need to download uh, the files from Microsoft. I'm going to be putting a link in the des description for that as well. Uh, so yeah, let's start. So here's our Xbox One, and remember this also applies to Xbox One S and Xbox One X as well. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what's going on here. Um, we're going to turn the console on. And as you can hear, I don't know if the microphone is picking up uh, but the noise, but it's making a noise. Uh, and that's a very common noise that hard drives make when they've failed or are failing uh, and yeah so it seems like the hard drives dead um, and I'm gonna show you what's going on on the screen here uh, it says something went wrong and at the bottom here you see uh, system error E105 now in some cases uh, the error code is going to be E101 uh, sometimes it's E102, it, sometimes it's E103, 104, 105, 106, and so on. But they're all caused uh, by the same issue. They're all caused when the Xbox One can't find the operating system uh, files that are on the hard drive. It's pretty obvious that the Xbox One is not booting because the hard drive is making those noises. Uh, and we're getting this error code. Sometimes uh, you're gonna get a black screen. You might not get a screen that looks exactly like that. You might just get a black screen uh, That only has the error code with none of these options So we're gonna be replacing the hard drive on this Xbox one uh, And to do that we're gonna start off by standing the console up like so And we're gonna remove this plastic panel here and you can do that by sticking a knife on one of the edges and then just lifting this cover off Second step is we're gonna remove the base for the eject button. You're going to lift the eject button slightly and then this just slides out of place. Now we're going to separate these two plastic pieces like so and then just kind of pry them apart like that. Okay, once you have that apart, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the ribbon cable uh, that's at the front of the of the console here next to the faceplate we're going to gently remove the ribbon cable you want to be very caref careful with the ribbon cable connector because it's very sensitive once that's removed we're going to put our top uh, case on the side and now uh, we're going to remove a couple a bunch of screws here uh, we're going to need a torx t8 screwdriver and we sell these on our website and i'm going to be putting the link in the description so we're going to have to remove this card which hides a, a big torx screw underneath uh, and then we're going to be removing all these other torx screws as well i'm going to remove these two torx screws that hold the network card in place lift the cable and then the connector would just be removed by lifting the card up. Now I'm going to remove these torque screws here. These are Torx T8 or T10 but they can be open with a T8. I'm just going to use my automatic bit here to save some time.
Once the long, long torque screws are removed, we're gonna remove these two cables in the front, the speaker cable and the antenna cable from the front. And then this panel should just be removed. And there is a, another cable under here, which we're gonna remove by lifting it like so. And get that out of the way. So that's our hard drive here. Uh, that's the broken part. That's the piece that's making noises. So we're gonna replace that with a uh, different hard drive. So we're gonna remove the hard drive by lifting the caddy up. And then we're gonna remove the SATA connector and the power connector. And the hard drive is gonna come out like that. Uh, now, if you buy the hard drive without the caddy, what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to remove these four screws at the back here, also torque screws. So we're gonna remove these to release the hard drive. So once those screws are removed, the hard drive is going to come out. We're going to remove the, the cable connectors and we're going to install our new hard drive. So our replacement hard drive here, it's a one terabyte. We're going to put it in and install the connector. And we're going to basically install it back into our caddy here. Then we're just gonna put it back in place. You wanna make sure the holes line up. Otherwise it's not gonna sit right. You're gonna connect the cables back. And our new hard drive's in. Now we're just gonna reassemble the console. Connect this connector. that, connect the front antenna cable, speaker cable, I'm going to put the long torque screws back in, Install the network cable on the network card, reinstall the network card, reinstall the screws that hold the network card in place. Okay, now we're gonna install the top case. The back goes in first, okay, and just clicks in. And then what you wanna do is you wanna install the front face plate. And you'd wanna ins install the front first. And just kinda angle the face plate in and push it back. 
And then what you want to do is you want to line them up in the front. And when they line up, you just click it in and everything clicks in place. Easy as that. And then you want to make sure all the clips are clicked. I'm going to check the front, make sure it lines up. It lines up good. Now we're going to install the, uh, the seat for the eject button. And then we're going to install this top piece back in. And we're done. Just like that. It's that easy. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate what you're going to do if you don't see a menu. Um, if you're just seeing a black screen, is we're going to press and hold the eject and bind button and we're going to press the power button. And we're going to keep holding all three buttons. And once the power light comes on, uh, on the Xbox, you're going to hear another beep and then we're going to release the power button. And we're going to keep holding the eject and bind, bind keys. And then what's going to happen is the console is going to automatically start installing the software from the USB stick. Software is going to start installing. So now the console is going to start installing the software. And this is what the next screen is going to look like. And when it's done with this screen, it's going to restart a couple of times. It's going to install the software. And then we're good to go. And it's going to restart. And then it's going to eventually go to 100. And it's going to restart again. Uh, and then at that point, we're going to be uh, all set. Usually takes about... I'd say five to ten minutes, maybe more. And if you've done everything correctly, it should get to this screen. And then you're just going to connect your controller, press A, and follow uh, the on-screen prompts. Uh, it's a, it's going to ask you to connect to Wi-Fi, which you're going to, uh, and then you're going to connect to Wi-Fi, and it's most likely going to download an update. And after that, uh, you're ready to go and ready to game. Uh, don't forget to comment and like and subscribe to our channel and also click the bell next to the subscription button because just subscribing is no longer enough uh, So do click that bell if you want to get notifications from us uh, And do check out our website if you need any Xbox one parts uh, at www.fasttech.ca